Um, Peter, can you tell me a little bit about the Insight exhibition? Sure, so on the 1st to the 4th of June in 2009, we're having a mixed exhibition, conference and demonstration event to really look at innovation in the built environment and, and how it applies to um, schools, homes, hospitals and a range of other building applications. And can you tell me about some of the highlights of the actual show? What sort of things are you going to be showcasing? OK, well, there, there are three main themes, I guess. One is the, the conference programme. So we have a, an extensive conference programme, mm -hmm. which is dealing with issues such as the changing demographic, the fact we have more ageing people, and looking at how we cope with that in the buildings we occupy. We have a th whole, th whole theme around sustainable planning, you know, to make sure that as we build lower carbon communities, we think about how the people can live together in a harmonious way that is good for the society and for good for creating jobs. We have another theme around refurbishment, which is a really important issue um, that we need to look at because a lot of the opportunity for reducing CO2 emissions come from existing buildings, yet it's very difficult to see how you find good solutions for addressing that problem. So a range of themes in the conference programme. Then we have a number of exhibits, so like other shows you might go to, we'll have people who come and show various new technologies, new processes, new materials, new products. And then I, I think perhaps the, the key differentiator, the special thing about our show is that we have our innovation park, which is where we have full scale buildings where we show a whole range of solutions for delivering better buildings. And Peter, I understand that you're going to be launching two new houses on the Innovation Park. Yes, so we're going to have at least two new houses on the park. One will be built just through the gap there, and that's one we're building with the Prince's Foundation, which is um, the foundation that, that works with His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and is looking at ways of developing sustainable buildings. And that, that particular building, the emphasis on that is on natural materials, it's on a healthy building, so it's being built with materials that don't emit chemicals and other um, partic particulates and pollutants into the atmosphere. So it's very much about health. Um, and it's also looking at how you build sustainability into, into that building as well. So energy efficiency and that sort of thing. It's very practical. It's going to look quite different to the other buildings on the park. And I think will be a, a very interesting house to see, a lot of, a lot of new learning. And the other house we're going to build here is one where we're looking at how we can use crops. So biofuels, um, crop products like hemp and straw and things like that into a house that's very, very natural, very, very, very natural house. So they're two of the houses that are going to come through. There may be some others, but we'll see, we'll see how that will announce that in due course. Peter, they sound very similar to me. I mean, are there differences in the type of construction used for the envelope? Yes, there are, there are differences in the type of construction methods used. So the, the hemp house is very much about natural materials, mainly crop-based materials. The Prince's Foundation House is using a range of products, not just crop-based products. So a whole range of different types of ones. I see. Yeah. And um, Peter, uh, the other thing you, the, the, you've got the the school which you've got have over here yes. is going to be turned into a health centre. Is that right? Yeah. So again, we're changing some of the the buildings we already have on the park, and there's a key issue around caring for elderly people and the need to have provision of local scanning facilities and things like that for checkups. And so the school, yeah, we're going to convert into a like a local health set, local health centre. And the key emphasis there would be around how we can embed some of these new technologies, some of the scanning technologies and things that you'd normally have to travel to a hospital for, how we can put those into a, a building that's more part of a community. I also understand that one of the homes here is going to be used as the care, the, 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 the actual patient's house, if you like. Is that right? Yeah, so another idea we have, and we'll see whether it comes through for June, is it's all about assistive healthcare technologies, which again is, you know, if we have an increasingly elderly population, how do we care for them in the homes? You know, how can they be monitored every day? How can we have better control systems so they can control temperature and hot water better? How, how can they um, communicate and understand local bus services and that sort of thing? So a whole range of technologies um, which deal with the elderly population. I see, and finally, you are going to be extending the landscaped area here out to the wider BRE aren't you? Yeah another key facet is you know there's been this drive for sustainability one of the risks is we we move forward and we build very green homes that are green as far as the environmental is concerned but we don't think about the 
the biodiversity, the greenness of the community and, and how the buildings sit in the context of the community. You know, we've got to think about sense of place, the feelings of people and the, the well-being of people that live within them. So we're very keen to put these buildings, these exemplary innovative buildings, in a context of, of a true development and look how nature can play its part in creating a community that's a really super place to live in. I see. And when will work start on the, the two new homes and the health centre? Within the next six weeks or so, we expect you know, the first sods to be dug in the ground and things to move forward from there.